or say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back to another video. STRV M slash 42. Swedish tier 5. And guess what? You get to watch me play today. That's me in my STRV M slash 42. Uh, so don't expect anything great. Uh, at least not that great. Because it's me playing. That, that was a joke. I'm going down the Swedish line. Because why not? Someone suggested it. <laughs> I don't know why, because this is a game and there's a Swedish line, so I decided to go down it. And I'm, uh, I, I got through the tier one, two, three, four. And I have no replays to show you, because it was just a shit show the whole way down. Because what I do in tier one, two, three, and four is I just, uh, I just put a 75% crew in there and I play like two games, just enough to get the XP to make it to the next level. And this is the first tier that I take seriously in this game, tier 5. And I know, a lot of you that like to play tier 3 and 4, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you still love me? <laughs> Let's watch some gameplay here in my STRV. And, uh, I have to say, I, I'm, this is in hindsight, I'm at the tier 8 now, I'm playing the tier 8, but I'm, I'm now creating videos for you, and look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Low tier games. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a toaster. I think I'll go up here. I don't have a... My crew's not very good. It's low tier, so... Okay, let's... Uh, rather than just uh, uh, break into a, a, a barrage of ridiculing the Muppets that surround us, let me explain. At the low tiers, there's a lot of people that... Oh, look at the gun. This is what I love about it. Look, look at this. Look at the gun depression. Yeah. And he, does, he doesn't know he's spotted. This thing, the gun depression, is... Incredible. 15 degrees? Okay, I've got two or three thoughts in my head. Look at the look at the artillery shells coming. I know they're targeting me. There's another one. Three there's three artillery, three shells left. Okay, two things I gotta mention to you. That number one is I really love this tank because the gun to look at the sh the gun depression on this thing. It's, every now and then you um you find a little gem as you work your way. That's why I like to play every tier. I don't free XP to tier ten. And um uh, even though I may not play a lot of uh, games at the low tiers, I make a point of playing each one along the line. And every now and then you uncover a gem that you um, is, is suitable to your playstyle as I dodge these artillery shells. And everyone told me the tier 6 is amazing. Oh, it's got the gun depression. I hated the tier 6. The tier 6 is a turret. It's got a big watermelon sized turret that is auto pen for everyone. It's, I hated it. But this tier 5 was suitable to my playstyle. So every now and then you find a, a tank that you particularly like. And I, I really like this thing. I'm going to keep it and I'm going to uh, yeah, play it every now and then. But I'm working my way down the tiers. What was the other thing I was going to tell you? I forgot. But I like this thing. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the skill uh, spread, and I'm, I'm used the word skill in, uh, in quotation marks because I'm not talking about whether players are good or whether players are bad. I'm, just, I'm talking about, I guess, the crew skills. The spread between uh, a tank with... Because that's what this game is about, right? If, if, you, if you're a seasoned player and, and you go back to Tier 5 and you put your 7 skill crew in this thing, uh, you have six cents, you have all the gunnery skills, you have all the vision skills, you can poke up here and you can shoot people like that. Uh, and you know if you're detected, so you can... Uh, you have view range beyond everyone's imagination. Uh, they don't have view range. The, the disparity between some poor guy in Tier 5 that uh, has his crew trained 25% for repairs. He has no six cents, he has no recon he has no situational awareness he's not running food he can't afford the binox right? <laughs> he has 310 meter view range and then you pull up in your tier 5 and you've got the uh, binox uh, you've got the uh, sixth sense you've got uh, all the vision skills your view range is 570 you've got the 38 percent concealment it's you know where i'm getting at with there's that prick that was shooting me in that leaf blur can i hit him the leaf blower. Leaf blow this. Oh, blow on this! Ugh. Yeah. Grolnan, <laughs> come! I think in Swedish that means blow on this! 
Just fun games like this. Any map with ridgelines, this thing is just a blast. Look, look at the gun depression. Even if you make a mistake and you drive up onto a uh, ground like I just did here, that's okay. I've got 15 degrees of gun depression. I just, just farm. I'm in farming mode. I'm just gonna farm. Hey, wait. Oh, what the hell? There's someone else shooting me. What? What's going on? There's an invisible. There's another stat padding high tier concealment crew skilled player back there. The disparity in uh, crew skills is much more apparent at the low tiers because you have people that are just grinding for the first time and you've got people that are going back uh, with really good crews to, to try out a new line or people with a lot of credits that can use the crew books. You know what I mean? At tier 8, 9, and 10, it tends to even out because by the time someone's got to tier 9, you know, maybe they have a crew with at least three skills. They've, if they're smart, they've got concealment on their light tanks and medium tanks. On their heavy tanks, they've got repairs and they probably got uh, some view range skills right and they can afford some equipment so the difference between two tier nines you might have like 450 view range for one 480 for the other 30 percent concealment for one 26 for the other it, you know, it, you know it, it evens out right but at the low tiers you can have a guy with 36 percent concealment 500 view range fighting a guy with uh, uh, 12 concealment 12 percent concealment and 300 meter view range and it's no contest that's why i don't play a lot of the low tier games but i played this one where is that guy there's only one guy like he this guy was back here and undetected he obviously uh has a crew with good concealment he knows how to use the bushes but i'm gonna find him and i don't care if i die there's a tree down look at that he's right there i can't see him i'm detected there he is there he is how the hell was that tree down? Have I confused myself? I don't know, but take that! <laughs> Victory! So here we go, look at the post-game stats. And as I warned you, you know, not great. Almost great. I, I, not, you know, that was an ace tanker. I'm sorry. I didn't post an ace tanker game. Do you still love me? Uh, I made credits. I didn't spam APCR like a motherfucker! I'll tell you what, let's watch a game where I do even worse. How about that? <laughs> no Ace Taker games for you! Will you still subscribe? <laughs> I have too, fun, too much fun doing these things, guys. And uh, according to YouTube, uh, emails that they, they keep sending me emails, right? Uh, uh, they, they send you all this creator newsletter number 58, how to grow your channel. I do everything wrong, apparently. <laughs> Do not insult uh, your viewers, they say. <laughs> what was the other thing they said? Do not... I don't know. So there's a list of uh, 12 things they say to grow your channel. Uh, 11 of them I do wrong. <laughs> so, so I have to thank all you guys for being here. And apparently one of the things I'm supposed to do is remind everyone who's watching that there is a subscribe button. <laughs> because according to YouTube, they say that 83% of people don't realize that there is one that they could click. So uh, uh, please subscribe, I'm supposed to say, in every video. That's what they want me to do. I'm not going to do it, but I did it this time. <laughs> the other 11 things that I do wrong, well, you know, I'm just... Uh, let's. You're stuck with me. The way, I'm the way I am. Okay, let's shoot, let's shoot. Ooh. Yeah. I like this thing. You know the other thing I forgot to mention? That I guess one of the reasons I like it is it reverses quickly. And it has good gun depression. That combination is good, right? Because you can poke a ridge line, you shoot, and then it, it doesn't reverse like a turd, like some tanks. Some tanks reverse like turds, and you don't, a lot of people don't ever mention that stat as being important. But if you're playing on a ridge line and you poke over and you shoot, and your tank reverses like a turd, you're gonna get shot back like a turd. This tank reverses not so bad. <coughs> but anyway, watch the game. I, I don't do very well, but uh, it's an exciting game. Uh, this, this game is actually quite... This is the typical regular schmo gameplay that you can expect in this little thing at low tier. And it was fun. And uh, yeah, I could go on and on and on about what I'm doing correctly here, but I'm not doing much correctly. Except, you know, I killed that guy. All right, my shot didn't even get there in time. No, I didn't kill that. All I did was enable... Got myself spotted and hit. <coughs> No Unicom gameplay here. I'm a little bit frazzled, guys. I'm a little bit frazzled because I just got off the phone with my parents. Well, not the phone. My mom FaceTimed me, right? That, what a shit show. 
Is what, yeah, I got one of those phone calls that you just you you're wondering, you know, you think to yourself, should I get on the plane and go? <laughs> Do they need me? So the the FaceTime ringing because I've got a an iPhone, and uh, <laughs> it's my mom, right? So okay, I drop what I do and I answer. <laughs> And you get the, it's a video call. You know what FaceTime is, right? So what do I get? I get the, the thumb. The screen is 80% thumb. It's her thumb. She's holding her iPad, right? She always holds it with her thumb on the camera. So I've got the thumb with the, just a little bit of the top of her head. And I hear, like, the blaring sound. And I go, hi, Ma. She goes, hi. I go, you got your uh, thumb on the uh, camera. What? You've got your thumb on the camera? I, what, what? You've got your thumb on the camera, I can't see you. And she can't hear me because there's blaring sound going on. And then I, all I hear is, turn it down, turn, turn it down. And what, what's going on? And then in the background I hear, fucking, fuck, fucking remote, fuck. It's my dad. I go, what's going on? What's going on? And I'm staring at a thumb, I, it's moving slightly. It's very, very, like cringy and and she she's what what's going on and then she heard that and she says to me your father can't figure out how to turn off the tv what do you mean he can't turn off the tv just just turn off the tv we have a new remote because apparently the cable company upgraded their they came and upgraded their box or something they're on some cable service and they've got a new it's a smart remote but he doesn't know how to turn it off. So he's pressing buttons and the only button he found that worked was the increased volume button. So I hear this blaring and they're, it's a foreign language channel they're watching. USA! <laughs> Some game show shit with my father in the background going, fuck, fucking, fuck. And my mom going, huh, huh, huh? And she called me. I didn't call. It's not like I'm interrupting this. She called. She instigated this, right? So I'm. I'm just. You know. Um. Just take. Press the red button. Press the red button. And then, <laughs> like ten seconds later, I hear my mother going, "The red button. Fuck. Fuck the red." It's a shit show, right? It's uh. It's just chaos. It takes about four or five minutes till finally. Um, the sound just stops and uh, then I see my dad who doesn't realize that I've heard him swearing for the last three minutes you know fuck, 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 because he's now he doesn't know the tech technology the microphone can pick then he comes up uh, hi how are you how are you because he's 60 he pulled the plug he went to the back of the TV he pulled the console away from the wall and pulled the plug out I heard him fuck you don't take that fuck you right and then, hi, how are you? you know, Dad, you, you always get that bad? What, what do you mean? No, uh, how are you? Can you tell mom to move her thumb uh, off the camera? And then he gets mad at her. You've got your thumb on the camera again. Okay, stop yelling. And she moves her thumb off. How, and I say, how are you guys? And my mom looks up at my dad. What? How are you guys? There's no response. She looks up at him. What's going on? Why are you looking at him? And then he looks at her, and they are ignoring me, and he says to her, Are you wearing your hearing aid? And she says, No. Oh, I'll, I'll get... Why aren't you wearing your hearing aid? What? Get, get them for me. They're in the bedroom. God damn it! And then he leaves, and um, he's gone. And I look at her and go, Hi, Ma, how are you doing? And she, and she just smiles, because she can't hear me, because she's not wearing her fucking hearing aids. And... And then uh, and I'm waiting again. So th this is about seven minutes into the, the FaceTime call. Um, and then there's like a minute of pausing. Just at least she doesn't have her thumb on the on the camera. And then she says to me, just a minute until I get my hearing aids. He's getting my hearing aids for me. And I'm just wondering, you called me. <laughs> God bless him. <laughs> you guys called me. It's not like I'm interrupting this shit show. You called me. <laughs> Weren't you ready for the call when you... <laughs> so anyways, he comes back 
Then there's like a 30 seconds of him trying to push the hearing aid into her ears and she's like annoyed. No, not that's the wrong one, that's the left one. Shut up, move it'll fit. And they're trying to, uh, he gets the hearing aids in. And it's, that's about 10 minutes into the call. But finally, she's got the hearing aid. And then they're all happy, right? Like they, they don't realize that I've been witnessing this for the past 14 minutes. And then it's just, uh, hi, how, we just wanted to call and say hello. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you guys? Great, great. We're doing great. Okay, well, it was nice talking to you. I, we just wanted to check in. Okay, thanks. And, and, and then they're, like, ready to wrap it up because they're, they're that generation where, I'll, okay, well, we've talked. We've said hello. We asked how you're doing. You said, okay, it's time. Bye. And, uh, and that was it. Then the call's over. That's, that's a call from my parents, you know, they just want to check in and uh, see that I'm okay and they're, everyone's doing great apparently. So, so there you go. <clears throat> that was, uh, that was like an hour ago. And now I'm making this uh, video for you guys. Double feature, by the way. You know, it's the second game that you get to watch. Me playing this uh, game. Uh, so life is wonderful. See, look, I, I did worse uh, than the previous game, but it was fun. I don't know, should I fly back? Do you think they need me? <laughs> I sucked in both games, all right? Yeah, I didn't get Ace Tanker, I know, I know. It's, it's not all about freaking games. Sometimes life gets in the way. Uh, I'm supposed to ask you, um, according to YouTube, uh, please subscribe uh, and hit like and leave a comment. Uh, that's what they want me to do. I don't know what, I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. Don't ask me! What the hell do I know?